Hey guys, um, I just kind of woke up a little bit ago, so I'm kind of a mess still. Um, I know everybody's waiting for my video on, uh, Freely, um, and I will get to that, but something more important came up, and you'll see why in just a minute, and I'm, I'm asking that I know my subscribers will be, but anybody else watching this video, please be respectful. Um, I don't want to have to disable this, these comments because I want to show support, okay? And so if you can't do that, then just please either click out of the video now because showing, uh, showing uh, respect at this point is very, very hard for me. Anyone can tell you that. Um, but if you can't show that level of respect and support, then um, either don't comment or please just click out of the video now. Views are not important to me at this point. The message that I need to get out to this person is very important. Okay, so please, please be respectful of that. Um, I, I went to bed last night knowing that I was going to do this you know, video this morning about uh, Freely uh, and the uh, Get Upset Girls. Okay, that that has to kind of be put on hold for just just a minute. Um, I got up, got my coffee, and I sat down to, you know, watch a few videos and wake up a little bit. And uh, there was a video that Dom Bauer had done, part two, of a Harley and Julia Bauer uh, Q&A session, okay? And so this was part two, and I had already watched part one, so I sat down to watch part two, and I am so extremely uncomfortable right now that I can't even, like, put into words how uncomfortable I am. Um, any of my subscribers will tell you, I am one of the biggest people that has spoken out against Julia, okay? Um, not so much against her, but she is over in Thailand, she's a 16-year-old girl, she's a minor, and surrounded by adults. In any group that you get together, there's bound to be some creepers, okay? I'm not pointing fingers. I'm not naming names. I'm not saying that anyone is like that. I'm saying the chances are good that there will be a creeper in the midst, okay? So I, my, my fear is that something would happen to this girl, okay? I have reached out to Julia in the past only to have my hand slapped back. And, and just absolutely vile and um, disrespectful and says horrible things to people and is obnoxious and loud and in your face and fuck you and every other word is the F word. These are all things that make me absolutely cringe, okay? So I have been very, very outspoken against Julia. And... Uh, I want to say now, okay, that uh, I was looking at Julia through my my eyes. Of course, we all do. But what I'm what I mean by that is that in in my situation, at 16 years old, I was married and having having kids. I knew I wanted to be a mom. I knew my life my life goal when I was very young. This is what I want. This is how it's going to be. This is how I'm going to do it. This is blah, blah, blah. My whole life I had planned out. And I was living the dream. Okay? That was me. That was me. Now, my kids, I raised my kids. I homeschooled my kids. They had no peer pressure, no influence from, you know, the bullshit here in Vegas. Okay? So, again, I'm looking at a 16-year-old and thinking of my own kids that were 16 at one time. They're all older now. And the level of maturity was way, way past where Julia is now, okay? And so I really had this skewed way of looking at, at Julia, okay? Um, that's all, I guess, in my defense. That's, that's the only, only defense that I'm going to give you for my own shameful behavior. Okay, and I need to I need to get that out there. I have been one that has attacked Julia. Okay, 
and I have I have gone to her. I have tried to get her to, you know, open up. I've tried to do the tough love thing. I've tried being nice. I tried all these tactics. And the the fact of the matter was, I just I just didn't didn't like her. She just rubbed me wrong. Okay. And last night, for some reason, the girl is on my mind. Okay. And I'm thinking because people had even come to me in the past and said. Renee, what is wrong with you? I don't get it. You're not like this to people. What, especially not kids. What is it about this girl that, that you just don't like? And I couldn't say, you know, aside from she's obnoxious, she's in your face and she's fuck this and fuck that. And, and, you know, then when people ask her about her, what she's doing for animal activism, I don't feel like it. You know, and, and so to me, it just, it was like nails on a chalkboard. In the video that I was watching this morning that Dom Bauer was doing, there were some really, really cringy moments, and I would urge you to watch that video. Um, it was between uh, Julia and Harley, okay? No matter how I feel about Durian Writer and or Freely, and we all know how I feel about them. Um, this video in no way has anything to do with either one of those two, aside from the fact of what they've turned this girl into, okay, and how they have brainwashed her. For that, I detest them. For that alone. N no matter what else they've ever done. For what they have done to this teenage girl, I'm livid. Um... In one part of the video, Julia tries to say, I'm depressed and I dwell on things and I tell people on my videos, carve the fuck up and do this and do that. What she's saying is, I say everything that you told me to say. I do everything you've told me to do. Do I have your approval, your acceptance, your love now? And she doesn't get it. Okay, he, he, he totally zoom. Her next statement is, I'm depressed and I'm anxious and I dwell on things. And I know that, and he interrupts her. You fucking asshole. I know he does not believe in mental illness. Okay, this video is a call out video to Julia. Julia Bauer. If you slap my hand away again, that's fine, and I will totally understand, but this is from me to you, okay? Anybody else doesn't have to watch it. They don't need to watch. They don't need to listen. They don't need to comment. They don't need to do anything. This is from me to you, okay? I have disrespected you in the past, and for that, I'm very, very apologetic. I'm very sorry. What has been done? has been done. I've also reached out to you in kindness and got met with a slap back. I have tried to show you, Julia, look, look at the person you used to be. Where is this person? And I got slapped down for that. That's fine. That's fine. Because there are thoughts going on in your head right now that aren't necessarily your own. They have been put there by two adults who know exactly what they're doing, okay? You are in no way at fault for that. But you are also around people that don't believe in depression and in anxiety and what it can do to someone, all right? So no more of the tough love, okay? I'm a mom. That's what I do. That's what I am. All the other bullshit the animal rescue, the singing, the, 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 it doesn't matter. None of that matters, okay? I'm a mom. If you are in a situation that you don't feel comfortable in, or you need help, or you need to talk to someone, okay? Um, and this is on the down low. If you don't want anybody else to know about it, that's perfectly 100% fine. We don't have to tell anybody. No one. If you need someone... Please, please reach out to me. 
I am not going to slap you away. I'm not going to turn you away. And I'm not going to criticize or, you know, battle with you. I want you to be safe. I want you to be happy. And I want you to make it safely back home. Okay? That is my greatest wish. I want you safe. I want you unharmed. I want um, you to be able to talk to someone. And you don't really have anyone there right now at this minute where you're, you've already said, you know, I'm not feeling great about this. And his answer was, give me a high five. Harder, harder, harder. No, you don't have to go hard all the time. You're 16 years old and you are a young lady. Okay? Harley is a guy. You ask questions about boys, about sex, you know? These are questions that Harley has no clue about because he hasn't figured them out for himself yet. Okay? I'm not throwing shade. This is just real talk. All right? My kid's dad, if my daughter went to her dad and said, I have questions, he would be like, oh, crap. Um, hmm. You know what? Maybe you should uh, get a hold of your mom. Maybe you should talk to mom about this. Because guys don't get it. And they will give you very, very different answers than what a woman would. Okay? Depression, no matter what you've been told, is a real illness. It's a mental illness. It's a chemical imbalance. It's been proven. And I'm sorry to burst your bubble. That's the last thing I want to do because everybody needs somebody to look up to. All right? But scientists and doctors are smarter than Harley and Freely. They are it's just real, real talk. I'm never, I'm will never ever lie to you. That's not who I am. So I need you to listen to me, just for a minute. These are the same people that told you that eating disorders are not real. Okay, you had an eating disorder, Julia, and you've tried to jump through every hoop that they've thrown at you, and you've done a really good job at copying what they wanted you to be, to do, to say, okay? And at the end of the day, you're not happy. And that's understandable given your age, where you're at, the journey that you're on, and and the whole diet thing that everyone and their brother is criticizing. They're criticizing it because they're worried about you. And like me, when you're scared, it comes out as anger. And I know that because I've done it to my kids. Every parent has. You get scared and you're pissed. Um, but I'm not going to lie to you. The same people that don't believe in depression and anxiety are the same people that tell you eating disorders aren't real. They're a choice. Eating disorders are also a mental illness. So... When, when you tried to push that down, it manifested in a different way, the depression and the anxiety. You don't have to believe me, okay? We can get, we can get help, and, and I am more than willing to extend a hand and help you. You can, like I said, you can contact me. I won't tell a soul. You can email me. You can call me. We can Skype. It doesn't matter. Hell, come to Vegas. Vacation in Vegas. What do you have to lose? By broadening your, your horizons just a little bit, expanding your circle of friends, and letting someone else in. Someone who will have your back. Okay? I want you, like I said, to be safe, to be happy, and to be healthy. And to make it home safely unharmed okay that's the most important thing you can tell me again to fuck off you can tell me again to get a light that's fine but even if you say those things at some point in your life if you ever ever look back and think I shouldn't have said that to her I should have let her in I should have accepted her help then get a hold of me.
because that offer will still stand. Do you remember when I showed you, I, I commented on one of your videos where you were so calm and you looked so young and so afraid and you, you spoke so softly and from the heart. This other Julia, like you said, you put on that mask, you put on that face, but people don't see that and so automatically they're hating you. To have people hate you feels horrible. It feels horrible. But that's the side that you're showing them. Show them the other Julia. Remember I said, you know, what happened to this girl? Where is this girl, the one with the heart? There's a heart in there. You have heart. You're just trying to please the wrong people right now. Okay? And like I said, if, if you need to, for appearances sakes, whatever, so that you don't get jumped on where you're at, but you know, it, so that they don't go off on you, tell them, oh yeah, that's stupid bitch, blah, blah, blah. Tell them whatever you have to. Okay? But it remains, my, my offer to you is on the table. It remains. If you need me, ever, ever. If you need me, contact me, okay? Get a hold of me. So I don't want you being alone there in a foreign country with thoughts of depression and anxiety because those, those are horrible things to live with. I know because I live with them. It is genetic, okay? My daughter suffers from the same thing. My son, one of my sons suffers from the same thing. Okay, the answer is not always medication. Sometimes you just need someone to talk to. If that's what you need, talk to me. I'm not going to slap out at you, and I'm not going to, uh, to attack you. You know, I, I've tried the tough love thing with you, and I really thought that, that you would come around and respond to that, and instead you didn't. So... Let's, let's clear the slate, and I, I just want to make sure that you're okay, all right? So, um, like I said, anybody else who sees this and doesn't agree with me, whatever, I don't, I don't care. You don't have to watch. Um, but, you know, some, some support for Julia would be really, really nice. Um... And if anybody knows of a way to, to, you know, have Julia see this, please let her know. Um, no hate, no shade, no matter how I feel about the people that she's, you know, she's with right now. Um, I'd, I'd like to make sure that she's okay. So um, thank you guys, and I will, I will see you soon. Contact me if you need me.